Hello. Bye. 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 How does it work? Hmm. We'll paint some chrome effect today. The frame is pretty much done for it. It has black color and clear coat on it. The clear coat has been sanded, smoothed, because the chrome effect needs uh, like a background with a glossy black finish. That's why it's all prepared this way. And now we only have to put some stencils on it, polish it up, put some chrome effect and then close it up with another clear coat. The frame will be painted, wheels and some forks. Here is my good old trusty rusty Roland. It works amazingly well. Here are the stencils that always takes way too much time because I always decide to design them from scratch especially for wheels as the curvature of the original stickers isn't proper for the wheels usually uh, that's the part that I'm always dreading because now I have to stick those on here and it has to be like parallel and all the stuff Równo musi być. Rozumiesz? Równo. And it's not so easy to make it równo. I don't have like a magical thing that I do to make it proper. You could put marks on, on the stencil, but it doesn't work all the time because frames are freaky sometimes. What you can do is try to establish a straight line and then if you have a straight line on your stencil, just match up those lines. Yeah, this is a very useful tool. Circle maker. How do you call circle maker? Compass. Compass? Yes. Compass is for north and south, sorry. That's... That's a circle maker from now on. I learned that I can measure, not with sufmiarka, but with circle maker, the distances between stencils. And I don't need to touch anything. I have two TP tips that I can just lay on top of the sticker and see if it's the same distance on the beginning here as on the end here. Circle maker, great tool. Or a compass, of okay, okay, compass. I had a great drum teacher once and he said that it doesn't have to be on time, it has to sound properly. It has to sound like it's on time. The same is with those stencils. They don't need to be super parallel to the lines of the frame. They are here actually, but normally you want them to look straight. They need to look precisely fitted on the frame. Not always this means that it will be totally parallel to the line of the frame or something. So remember your eyeball is the best measurement that you can rely on. This is exactly what I was talking about. To put this sticker, this stencil on this freakishly uneven surface, it needs to look straight. In this case, it needs to be parallel to the headset, I guess. Because that's the only reference point that you'll have on the bike. Bite!
as for touching the frame with my bare hands, you, of, of course you shouldn't do this because they're fucking filthy. I just don't use uh, rubber gloves for the stencils because they stick to the stencils way too much and I hate it. That's why I use my greasy hands, but I of course clean it afterwards. The grease it, the de silicone it, so don't worry. Uh, I don't know how to mount wheels to paint them properly. That's a shitty way and I don't recommend it. But that's the best way we will we can do at the moment. I have no idea. Please comment below. Smash that button and your rabbit or something. Spraying the chrome effect works out the best when you spray it from far away with a little bit mist, you just overspray it actually. And this gives the effect because all the shiningness is from the polished surface. That's why we'll go and polish some shit up now. was pretty gnarly. The best way turned out to be this uh, this cloth, <laughs> anti-static one, with degreaser, which is a paint cleaning substance made for cleaning the paint. Who would guess? Tired, tired, tired. And I'm hungry. However, that's what we got. As you can see it's shiny and thanks to this it almost looks like chrome already. We just need to sprinkle a little magic on top of it and then peel it, peel everything off and close it with another clear coat. Yep, I'm hungry. Mornings and as you can see by the state of my nose, it's the next day. Hello, I'm not hungry and I can start. I will use an airbrush. That's it. You will get the best results with a normal spray gun because the mist will be much more misty but this has quite a big nozzle we have quite small logos to do and that's not my first time but if you'll do it first time do it with a normal spray gun it will be easier to make an overspray that it's needed for, for this effect and remember just overspray it Don't rush it. You basically need to be quite steady and just build the layers up. Because this, uh, if you try to do it like at one go, then you'll lose all the ref reflectiveness of the black undercoat, un under, not undercoat, like the... Fuck, let's do it again, from the top. This is a wheel. Don't try to rush it, don't rush it. Clean the overspray and do it again. And this is how we do it. I 
I use my glove to check how far I need to be from the material. Demasking, taking stencils off, will be quite self-explanatory. So... Some say that that's satisfying. Even the surface was like Father Donario, so uh, I'm using a little bit of clear coat and sanding down a little bit of first layer of clear coat to make it even more flat. So the black will be like a mirror finish. You'll see at the finish at, at the end. It looks pretty much scratched at the moment, and that's actually good because when you put a clear coat on a clear coat. If you don't do it right away, then you should scratch a little bit the surface because it will give the grip to the new layer of clear coat. And as I said, we used it as well to even out the surface that was pretty rough. And I was a moron and I oversprayed here. As you can already see it's sparkly. Yep. Let's talk about overspray. We definitely need to clean this up. Most of the painting job is to prepare yourself for the painting. So now it's the fun part. We need to clean up the painting booth, which is disgusting at the moment.
By the way, those work really great. Before I knew this exist, it was quite a pain in the ass. Yep, we need to invest in new polishing tools, for sure. You convinced me guys, I definitely needed this, it cost more than fucking painting machine, painting gun.